Alright, so by now you've probably heard a lot of opinions about this game. From YouTubers that take their time to make an informed opinion. But some people hate the system so much, to the point where they just say 90% of the game is TVs, which is just blatantly wrong, by the way. To Twitch streamers that have no clue about what makes combat good. The problem with the game is that it's just less than a lot of other games. The combat is less than other games. I'll be addressing popular negative opinions that I've seen being thrown around, and highlighting design choices the game did right. I just want to mention that I'm making this video so that people don't miss out on a good game just because some idiot parrot sentiments that they have no idea what they're talking about. So with that said, after 3 weeks of playing, here's why Zenless Zone Zero is good and why you should play it. From a Devil May Cry player's perspective. First point, no open world. Hallelujah! After finding out the game was not going to have an open world, I rejoiced at the fact that I didn't need to play a walking simulator. Now don't get me wrong, I do like open world games like Dragon's Dogma and Fallout, but after experiencing Genshin Impact and Tower of Fantasy, I'm convinced that Gacha open world is just finding random puzzles around the map to get some measly small reward. It literally was walking everywhere but getting nowhere. In this game, you simply quick travel to wherever you need to, talk to whichever NPC you needed to, and carry on with whichever mission needed to be done. Quick and simple. This brings us to the oh so spooky scary TV mode. I'd much rather have direct access to the puzzles instead of trying to find them by walking around random grass plains and smacking random mobs. Plus I think the puzzles are pretty easy and quick to settle so it doesn't really get in the way. Save some mystery solving point and click adventure stuff which rarely comes up. I say this is a problem of people simply not liking change and the internet mob mentality of blowing things out of proportion. I would even argue that the TV system is a huge improvement on Hoyo vs N in a major complaint of the game's not respecting the player's time. It's also good for free-to-play players since you don't miss out on precious premium currency by displaying how many nodes you haven't found in your quest progress. To the Genshin players out there, how many times have you had to google the world map to find the puzzle locations, walk your way there, and then do the puzzle, and get a tiny reward? I just think people should look at this and realize that this is a nice alternative to open world. I don't remember Final Fantasy Dissidia being hated for having a similar system. Also, I probably feel this way because I'm kinda sick of looking at open grasslands and mountains. Okay, the next point is about the meat and potatoes of this game, and a popular complaint that the combat is too easy. Yeah, sure, the combat is easy in any gacha game. Even punishing Grey Raven is easy if you're placing it in the perspective of action games in general. Take it from a DMC player. So it might be easy, but when it comes to how the game lets you flow, not forcing you into pre canned combo animations and modular movement, this game really shines. For example, you can dash cancel almost any move that isn't an EX skill or ultimate, and even those you can dash cancel the recovery animations to optimize your attack frequency. The dash cancel can double as its intended dodge function as well and results in buttery smooth interactions with enemies. It's by far the best combat experience I've had in gacha games that I've played. That we know. Hell, it even beats a lot of AAA games in combat. Now back to difficulty. I'm sure not a lot of people have touched the higher difficulties of Shiyu defense. The game Spiral Abyss equivalent of Genshin Impact. There will be bosses paired with mini bosses assaulting you from multiple directions and testing your reflexes and decision making. Some major examples of decision making are that some attacks cannot be switch parried and only dodge, so you have to choose to specifically dodge. Or perhaps you don't want to parry and simply dodge because you are currently on your stunner character, to build up stun even though the attacks are parryable. Sure, for lower levels your decisions don't make much difference since the enemies don't have enough damage output or tankiness for it to be significant, but on higher levels blindly using the same tactic over and over to button mash your way to victory is either not gonna net you the sweet S rank or straight up make you fail. I like that if you have the skill, you can even take on overleveled enemies and still get S rank. Just check out my run with only level 40 characters on floor 9. This stands out quite a lot as most gacha games really want you to pump your character stats to brute force your way through content. The last point for combat is that you can freaking juggle in this game. And not just some half ass air stamina bar slow juggles. I'm talking quick and smooth execution based juggles. Come on, where do you see stuff like this in games recently? Let alone in gacha. I can only think of Withering Ways but even that one is more of a spectacle juggler rather than a quick execution flow based one. I could be wrong though, do let me know if my assumption on that is wrong. I simply don't have time to pick up yet another gacha. The one gripe I do have about the combat is that you don't get to cancel the switch chain attack. Sometimes if you want to maintain a juggle or even optimize damage, it's better to stay on the same character. I've requested for a chain attack cancel in the last two surveys they put out. Please request it in the upcoming surveys if you can for me. It'll really elevate the combat. A quick update. ZZZ's Twitter just tweeted this out. Well done. I'm proud of you all. So in conclusion, combat, freaking good. Point 3. The story is weak. 
Now I'm not gonna touch much on this since I don't really care about stories in action games unless it's exceptional like in the Mass Effect series where the narrative is the key component of the game. But let's be honest, how many people actually play gacha games for the story and not just for the daily grind to increase their waifu stats and clearing content? More power to you if you do, but I don't think most people do. What I'm saying is, it's a non-issue. As for what I think about the story, it's it's alright. Nothing crazy good, just alright. I do appreciate the neo hip hop setting aesthetics and the quirky characters, it's quite refreshing to see. It reminds me of The World Ends With You, just not as emo. Oh you don't know Twewi? It's a pretty cool Nintendo DS game, look it up. But one thing I want to point out is that they made a good decision to allow us to straight up skip dialogue. I still read most of the story stuff but when it starts to feel like I don't need to know more, it's nice that there's an option to save my time. The fourth and final point of this video is the music. The game has a good mix of genres ranging from dubstep to anime 8 bit rock. Most of the music doesn't really stand out but serves as a good accompaniment to the gameplay. The tracks that do stand out however, really are one of the best I've heard in recent video games, like Lycon's combat theme from his story. As a musician myself, this is some crazy impressive guitar that almost makes me feel like quitting. The track from Alan's character demo is another sublime piece. The Victoria Housekeeping faction really is privileged to have the best themes in the game. If I were to give the music a rating, it would be a 7 or 8 out of 10. I think that's all I have to say about the misrepresentation of the game and how you're missing out if you just base your decision on internet echo chambers. Please try it out if you're a fan of action games, it's pretty good. For those who are new to my content, hi. My name is Jester, and I like action games. This is the first time I've covered a gacha game in a video, so I'm curious what the response would be like. Kind of expecting some fire coming my way, but whatever, I'm just sharing what I really think about the game. Anyways, time to sign off. Take care and have fun.